With Apple's September event being right around the corner, the excitement for the new line of iPhone 13s is building every single second that passes. And so much so that a study showed that 44% of people are going to invest in the new iPhone 13 who already have iPhones, which in my opinion is mind boggling. And with so many people projected to invest in the brand new iPhone, it raised an interesting question for me as I bought last year's iPhone. Will I buy the new iPhone 13? Well, to answer this question, I'll have to go over both the rumored pros and rumored cons on the new iPhone. And I say rumored because it hasn't been released yet, but it's very rare that Apple releases a new iPhone without almost every single thing they do being predicted with scary accuracy. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that most everything I'm gonna mention in this video is going to be accurate. And the new iPhone 13 has a lot going for it. Foremost, it's gonna be very similar to the lineup of iPhone 12s that Apple released with the 13 mini, 13, 13 Pro, and 13 Max. Moreover, the new iPhone is rumored to have a bigger battery, and this doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna have a longer battery life, but it does likely mean that. It could just be that the new iPhone is gonna use more power for whatever upgrades Apple is going to introduce to the interior of it. Along with this better battery, it also might introduce a reverse charging capability, something that has been present on Samsung and pretty much all Android phones for quite some time now, but still worth mentioning nevertheless, as there is a lot of people I know who would make use of this. It's also rumored to have a smaller notch, something that I am really excited for as I really, really do not like the notches present on iPhones and I'm really excited for it to be removed entirely, but even a smaller notch is a huge step forward in my personal opinion. It's also rumored to have a better screen, which would be really nice. I think the iPhone 12 already has an amazing screen, so a better one would be, in my opinion, hard to notice because there's only so much the human eye can pick up, but regardless, it's still a welcome addition and this could also explain why Apple's investing in a bigger battery for the iPhone as this would use more battery. And finally, something that I'm not super into, but I know a ton of people that are, is a new line of colors. Something that I think will be really interesting to see as Apple usually plays it pretty safe with their iPhone colors. They have tried to release a wide variety in the past, but they always seem to kind of stray away from it. So I'm interested to see what colors they will be releasing. Now with all these pros, it can almost sound like investing in the new iPhone's a no brainer and I'm just gonna go ahead and do it, but that's definitely not true. There is a lot of problems I see likely being prevalent on the new phone. The foremost of which is that the notch is still there. Despite it being smaller, a welcome addition, it's still going to be there and still going to bother me every single time I use the phone. So a smaller notch is better, but it's not necessarily worth spending the money on buying a new iPhone entirely. Moreover, the camera bump, something that has been there for what seems like forever, is also very likely still going to be present. And that's another thing that I would really like to see removed as I really like the appearance of the iPhone outside of its case. So having to keep it in a case so I can just set it down on a table Table without it rocking back and forth is kind of annoying to me personally, but this doesn't seem to affect much people as much as it used to. So I highly doubt that they're gonna remove it. And as such, it will likely still be present. And finally, while a bigger battery would be nice for certain people, for me, that's not something I'm really interested in as the 12 Pro Max has, in my opinion, insane battery life. I have never run out of battery with this phone and I'll go a day, two days without charging it and it will still be going strong. So that's not something that would be enticing enough for me to invest in the new phone for. So the combination of both these pros and cons creates quite an interesting situation in my opinion as so many people are likely going to invest in this phone and most of them I'm guessing don't already have an iPhone 12 like me. They'll be investing from previous iterations and in that case it makes a lot of sense in my opinion. However, I personally think that the new phone is just too much like the 12 to justify investing in it. However, in my personal opinion, this new iPhone is going to be extremely similar to the 12 and as such, I don't think it warrants upgrading and investing in a new phone. So in conclusion, despite me not investing in this new iPhone, I'm curious in regard to whether or not you guys will be investing into it. So please let me know down in the comments whether you will or won't be investing in this new phone and what you think of all these rumors about the new iPhone. Thank you for watching and please do consider subscribing as only 1% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed and as a small content creator like myself, any support really does help.